So here's what we use to film our vlogs camera wise. Crazy mother. So keeping it simple, we're gonna go with what this prime function is, what we use it for, how it performs, and we'll tell you how often we use it. So it's rate of use. All right, so what we're gonna talk about here is the GoPro 5. Now this is a GoPro 5, not a 6. Um, and what its primary use is, it's the other camera. We use this basically for other angles, walk-ups, things we can sit, sit and stick places, that kind of stuff. Um, how's it perform? It's great when you don't need sound. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it's great when you don't need sound. Um, rate, rate of use, well, we use it more often than we should, really. Um, I tend to use it. Do I actually actually use the footage from it? Not as much. I mean, I place it a lot of times and I look back at it and I don't use it. And that's why I say I use it more often than I should. All right, so here's the session. Um, its primary use was a throw camera where we threw it around and snow or mounted it, stuff that got tossed around. And um, it was good for that. We put it in stuff like Ublik, uh, those kind of things, it's great. Um, how does it perform? Well, it was great until it broke. Um, and that kind of goes into rate of use. Uh, we don't use it, it's broken. The GoPro uh, Karma Grip. Uh, what do we use it for? Mostly for stabilization shots. It's good for um, to get a stable shot. Make sure you know the typical gimbal stuff, you know, this kind of stuff. It's great for that. Um, how, did it, how, how does it perform against that? Well, for that purpose, it's great. Uh, rate of use, that's just kind of where we're getting at. Um, we haven't used this thing in a long time. Um, Simply because onboard stabilization with this is great. Um, the onboard stabilization with the RXO is freaking fantastic, so you don't really need the gimbal. Um, and that's kind of where the rate of use is low on that. We don't use it that often. So this is the Sony RXO. Well, this is right here, this little guy. Um, and it's our primary vlogging camera. That's what we use it for. How does it perform for that? Well, it does exactly what we want it to. It gave us the most versatile range. It has a lot of dynamic features. Let's you do quite a bit for its size, and that's kind of why it's our primary camera. Um, how often do we use it? It's our primary camera. We use it all the time. Um, use it for all its functionalities and all its wonderful tools. So yeah, that's the Sony RXO, and it's our primary camera. All right, so here's the DJI Spark, or as I call him, Sparky. He's the drone that we use um, when we're filming drone shots. How does it work against that? It works actually really great for that. This was purposely bought for a purpose, specific purpose to shoot those drift angle shots where you want to get it from afar and it does that really well. How often we use it? Whenever possible, whenever it's necessary, we use it. All right, so we're gonna talk about the iPhone um, or the phone specifically in this case. This is what we use to do, it's an iPhone 6. We use this to run our Live updates, um, how's it perform for that? It's great for that, you know, it's great for when you can't bring a, a regular camera into a venue or an event, but you can get away with bringing your cell phone. Um, rate of use, when we use it, we tend to abuse it. Um, and that basically is because like, if a good example is you look at us at uh, No Shoes Nation, we pretty much live updated everything with it. It's great for 30 second clips. So when we do use it, we tend to abuse it because no other camera is available. Um, at that particular moment in time. So, well, thanks for watching. And if you liked what you saw and you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Um, and don't forget, work hard and play nice.